What's up, everybody? How we doing? Welcome back. It is time for some peep 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 show. Which I haven't watched in a long time. You haven't watched in a while, so I'll catch you up to speed a little bit. Um, So it's now season three. Mark is actually dating Sophie. Oh, Although it looks like last episode they might have broken up. Oh, (laughs) that was quick. (laughs) Yeah, so who knows what's going on. It's... It, All right. It's chaos, and everything has gotten <laughs> that was so Brian's much... Brian's catch-up. Everything has gotten so... Well, it's hard to explain, because these, these crazy people... Like, everyone in this show is crazy. Like, out of their mind nuts. So, the gist of it is, everything is getting more cringe... Because all the characters are doing these <laughs> outrageous things that are not acceptable to society. You know how sh- And the title of this one gives it away. I love to shrooms. You know how shows start, and they have that person that narrates, and they're like... Last time on Friends, and then they say everything that happened. Last time on Peep Show. This, this we witnessed Mark and Sophie having a fight yet again. But don't fear, folks, for Super Hans and Jeremy are up to their no good old tricks. <laughs> See, you'd be great at it. <laughs> <laughs> but this title is episode I Love to Shroom, so. Oh, okay. Disclaimer we do not condone the abuse of drugs. Okay? But you can actually... There will be characters in the show that uh, probably, judging from the title, will be doing some type of uh, illegal drug activity. So Maybe not, though, because you can make mushrooms into coffee, not hallucinogenic coffee, like just real straight coffee. So maybe they just really like mushroom coffee. We do not condone any of this. (laughs) No, it's not. It's like, it's good for you. I'm finally on a good standing (laughs) with YouTube now, so I gotta keep... uh, Keep it clear that we do we do not do drugs. We do not condone that stuff. We're straight edge. Please, people, be safe. <laughs> anyway, uh, also before we start the reaction, just want to let you guys know we got uh, we got some uh, people cleaning the uh, floors. Yeah, because she this likes place. the tea. Um, yeah, so we got the people cleaning the floors in this place. Um, so you might hear, I don't know if you can hear it through the microphone now, but you might hear like humming in the background, which could get a little annoying for the headphone users that uh, like to complain so much about my sound, but it's going to get, for the headphone users, it's going to get even worse yeah. for this particular reaction, but the show must go on. And for the people who are thinking, clean your own floors, we do mop and everything, Yeah. but she um, was in heat, was peeing for some reason, so there was... Blood and pee all over the floors. Everywhere. I'm pregnant, so I'm not going to scrub the floors. He's thrown out his back several times, so he's not going to scrub the floors. So this is our only option. And it's right not now. like we tried. We tried a lot. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, finally it's just like I'd rather just hire somebody to do it. If you get the blood right away, it's easy to come up. But if you don't see it, then it dries and then it's yeah. really hard. Yeah. All right. Anyway, enough chit-chat. Let's get into Peep Show. And, uh... Remember to like, subscribe, and do whatever you want, okay? All right. I got you for several reactions today, so I'm He does. I don't work today. All I have to do is edit papers, so in between that, I'll be doing videos. Excellent. All right, folks. Here we go. Let's get into it. Big Sue's. Jeremy. Hi. Uh, I thought you might like these. They're flowers, obviously. I mean, they'll die eventually, but then everything does, doesn't it? You know, oh. apart from love, a true love, a good love can sustain you all the way through. Uh, Jeremy, it's very nice to see you, but I'm working. Uh, oh, yeah, of course. Sure, sure, of course. Well, how about tonight? I mean, are you free? Don't know. What are you doing? Oh, uh, just Mark's going to Frankfurt, and uh, I thought maybe, if you fancied, magic mushroom party at my place. Ooh, don't know. Magic mushrooms? Do you see matching mushrooms? Magic. Magic mushrooms? Yeah, that's what the youngins call it. That's what the youngins called yeah. around here. I don't approve of this <laughs> magic mushroom nonsense. What is this? Maybe it means they're going to play Mario. Super Mario World? Yeah, maybe they're going to play Mario Dag Dagnabbit, go see that movie, by the oh way. Oh, my gosh, The so new good. Mario movie was, uh, to my surprise, was actually a lot of fun. We loved so it. Take your kids and go see the Super Mario movie. That sounds a bit scary. Oh, Suze, it's not scary. You just lose a sense of who you are and all that shit. Will I still be able to play the piano? Of course. Sue's, they're mushrooms. They're completely natural. Nothing natural ever hurt anybody. That's a scientific fact. I suppose in a way it's the sort of thing I should be doing. If it's something I don't want to do, then it's probably something I should... What about poisonous mushrooms? 
Yeah. <laughs> you fucking twat. Definitely twat. What do you mean? Yeah, exactly. I mean, if people only did everything they wanted, everyone would just spend all day sitting on the carpet watching the poker channel, wanking and eating those expensive German biscuits. Probably. Okay. We know what you do now. Oh, Jerry. Feel awful. Still, made excellent time. Great bus driver. Same old route, though. I should probably alter it occasionally. Evade kidnappers. Not much of a risk, but I'd feel such an ass if it did happen. Mark! You're home! Why is he so happy? I suppose I'd be happy if I just spent the whole day practising my signature and measuring my knob with dental floss. You've only been gone an hour. What happened? Did you, um, did you forget your passport? I'm ill. Gastric flu. It's been going around the office. Funny, tummy, weird ears. But you're never ill. And even when you are, you stay at work because you believe all those adverts about the man in marketing stealing your job if you take the day off rather than buying their horrible products. Yeah, well, I'm not going all the way to Frankfurt puking and shitting just to be Tom Finnamore's bitch. Found out when I got in this morning I'm just going to be queuing up his laptop. I had to get some remedies and I thought bollocks to this. Just got to let Johnson know. How ill do you think I sound? Well, you look like shit, but you sound surprisingly chirpy. <clears throat> what about now? Yeah, a bit hammy. But then I'm a stern critic. This is my whole area. Bollocks. He's been on voicemail all morning. Should I just leave a message? No. If you want to convince that you're ill, you have to go mano a mano. Answer phone is the waster's dream ticket. This is a fucking disaster. The sick man of Europe all over my mushroom party. I can't have him coughing mucus all over Big Susie's lovely face. <laughs> <laughs> but if you go, if you're sick and you go see the person you're working for, mm. then you're obviously well enough to go in there. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know about that either. Have you guys ever gone into uh, work in person to let them know you're sick and then turn right back around and go home? I've gone in because I've been like, maybe I'm fine because you like were kind of in bed, <clears throat> you know, the whole time. Yeah. And you're like, oh, maybe I just feel like a little bad because I just woke up. And then you're driving to work and you're like, I'm okay. But then the second you start like actually like working, you're like, oh, crap, I can't do this. That's having a, yeah, I've gone to work where I wasn't feeling well, and then I get to work in like an hour in, I'm like, Jesus, I really mm -hmm. feel like garbage. Um, and like, so that's happened cold. before. But I never have gone in just to be like, I can't work. I can't work. <laughs> yeah. Bye. And turn back around. Like, it was just a, a waste of gas. If you got a car. Yeah. You know? Well, there was one time that I had like an allergic reaction, and my face was literally this. And I tried to call out, and they were like, no, we really need you. And I was like, all right, I'm going to come in, and you're going to see my face. And it came in, and they were like, go home. <laughs> yeah. So it wasn't like I was sick, but I have, like, really bad allergies. And literally the whole left side of my face just swole up. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. That was, that was wild. <laughs> that was wild. Like, you really want me to work? No! Leave! Yeah, like, please leave. <laughs> little hunchback of Notre Dame. I come over. Ha! Welcome. Fucking, what can I get for you? A little Quasimodo looking. <laughs> oh, I'm God. your server today. They're like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Where in our massive duplex do you think they'd be? In one of the guest suites or the billiard room? I can't get out. Let me out. It's all right, Hans. It's just the handle. It's it's funny. You need to lift it. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Super Hans was that strong. Jeez, I'd be mad though. You just broke my door. Dude, he's like a stick figure. He weighs like ninety pounds. I didn't. I had no idea he was that strong. Of course, it's a TV show, but still. Yeah. Like what? Is... I feel like it doesn't take that much to kick down a door. I mean, it depends on Let's the door. Let's test it. It depends on a door. Yeah. How did you? That was a thick door. Yeah. I think I could kick that door down. Do you? Do, well, you're gonna go try right now. No, I'm not kidding. Yeah, it's just wood. I can kick it down. I could do it. You're just so much fun. <laughs> oh, all right. Sorry, lads. Locked doors. Little switch just flicks, you know. <laughs> Ever since Dad locked me in the airing cupboard to monitor the home brew. 
Nice big lock. Maybe locks and walls aren't cool, but they work for Hadrian and Ariel Sharon. What the hell do you call that? It's a short-term solution. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It can't be a short-term solution. It doesn't even reach the floor. <laughs> no, Jeremy, I, I know for you, doing your business in public is probably some sort of dream come true, but I can't live like that. You need to sort this out. But, Mark, I'll never get round to it. It's yellow pages. I won't use the right words. They'll realise I'm not proper. I'll get some cowboy and end up on ITV2. Look, please, before you go to Frankfurt... I'm not going to Frankfurt. He's never going to do it. Where am I going to poo? Can't go to Sophie. She's in Bristol. I'll have to go to the pub. They'll start to think I'm a junkie. I could offer them 50 Yeah, Bristol's getting mentioned a lot lately. Weird. In the no, things I'm reacting to. No, buy a pint to. each time. Just become an alcoholic. Mark, it's I'll bad. give you anything if you'll do it. All right, I'll bloody do it. Great. <laughs> what the hell is he laughing with the carpenter about? You have to maintain the barrier or they'll retune your radio to a commercial station and force you to borrow their pornography. Ah, oh, brilliant. So how are you feeling? You're feeling a lot better. No. What were you laughing about? What's he doing? How much is it going to cost? It's a sorted, Mark. A fair day's work for a fair day's pay. Don't give me mottos, Jeremy. I want figures. Data. All right, mate. All right, I uh, just had a call from my therapist. Uh, need to go and have a bit of a chat. It shouldn't be more than a couple of hours, I wouldn't have thought. Was that all right? Well, I'm, I, I mean, do, do we... Is that included within the rate as agreed? Or? No problem, mate. I'll have the kettle on. Sweet as. How do we manage to get the one carpenter in Britain with a therapist? Oh, sure. Therapy's only for you and Tony Soprano and Jamie Theakston. The common man needs therapy too, you know. Yeah, but on my time... Je These guys need therapy. They do need therapy. These guys need Those therapy. Those two need therapy. Good for the carpenter. <laughs> Super Hans as well. I think Super Hans might oh, need the really most therapy. Oh, he really needs therapy, yeah. Because he's the angriest one. Jeremy, shouldn't you... Mark, shush, stop. Relax. It's okay. It's fine. You're recuperating. Have some lunch. Three different flavors, all mixed up. Mmm. Exciting. And then after that... Exciting! Beans. Until you're better, I'm going to cook all your meals. Right. That's right. His, his meal with mixed chips. Beans. What will come first, scurvy or... <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy's killing me this episode because he really wants this he fucking really wants, party. He really wants, yeah. <laughs> it's Johnson. I don't oh, it's Johnson! You take it. All right. Uh, no, it's Jeremy. Oh, really? Oh, really? That is fascinating. Tom Finnamore's got the lurgy that's going around. He's not going to Frankfurt. Finnamore's got gastric flu. Johnson wants you to make the presentation instead. Oh, my God. Me? What shall I say? Say yes, you big idiot. But I'm ill. I'm really ill. Well, go for it, dude. You're only as ill as you think you are. OK. OK. Tell him, tell him I'm up for it. Don't tell him I'm ill. Say I've been working from home. Just tell him I'm coming in. Alan, he's coming in. You da man. I'm a man. It's you da man. Whatever, Jeremy, let's not quibble. I'm a man. <laughs> you da man, I'm a man. Jess comes good sometimes. He's <clears> not <throat> a total asshole. Yeah. Mushroom sex party all over your flat while you're chomping on a brat for us and dancing to the umpa band like a total dick. Oh my god. You're still using his apartment. Be nice. <laughs> oh, he's so happy he's gone. Yeah, he so is. So they can go. A smiley face from Sophie. That's all I get. A template for a three-screen text about. Oh, TV. that's the other thing too. Sophie is has been broken. She's like lost her mind as well. Oh. She's very weird now too. Okay. <laughs> How did she lose her mind? I guess just hanging out with them. Yeah, well, Enough. she was also dating that Jeff guy, yeah. and then they broke up, and yeah. she just, and then between the weirdness of these two around her, it's just, she's lost it. She's lost it? Okay. Yeah. Leading Sophie. in Frankfurt, my best news of the decade. I sent her flowers when she got a new fridge. Uh, but Mark, uh, you really have to make sure that they Oh my god, I feel terrible. Glands in my neck like a couple of golf balls. Gotta look interested. Keep nodding, <laughs> nodding, and a bit of eyebrows. He looks high. Remember, mm -hmm. Mark, make sure they know that we're playing the game, but that we don't need to play the game because we've already won the game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. <laughs> Absolutely. 
Now they've got a plasma screen in their meeting room. So Maybe I can just get some rest if I get my hand. So it looks like I'm concentrating, but actually grab some micro sleep. Mark. Uh huh. Sophie been keeping you up. Hmm? Oh, sorry. And that's the guy she used to date. Yeah. <laughs> that's a weird thing to what say. A I'm concentrating, but actually grab some micro sleep. Mark. Uh huh. Sophie been keeping you up. Hmm? Oh, sorry. She's in Bristol now, isn't she? Probably keeping some other guy up now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, 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 she isn't. But, uh, g good joke there, mate. When was the last <laughs> time Sophie texted you a template, fuckface? <laughs> oh my god. He probably thinks I'm a slacker. To him, it probably looks Which like is also weird, because they, like, she works there too. Yeah. I think. Or maybe she doesn't anymore. I don't know if she still does, but. Yeah. Well, maybe she's doing, like, it seems like they have to go places a lot for their job, so maybe she's in... Well, she's in Bristol right Bristol now. Bristol working, though. Yeah. Like, doing something for their company. Yeah. Done literally nothing since lunch. Well, the washing up isn't nothing, mate, and I'm going to be doing that any bloody minute. So, uh, do you reckon you'll get it done soon, like by tonight? Oh, yeah. Face of piss. Wicked. I'm just working. I'm a musician. This is work. If you want, I could do you a theme while you're carpenting. Andy's theme. Yeah, my therapist reckons I should get back into the music. Now, I used to play drums. He reckons it'd be a good outlet. It's cool you've got a therapist. I mean, what's the big taboo? There isn't a taboo. Exactly. What's the big taboo? Answer, there isn't one. That's what's so cool about it. There's two types of people in this world, pal. People who know they've got shit to sort out, and people who don't know they've got shit to sort out. Oh, yeah. Yep. Word out. Truth up, dude. Truth. God. Look at me talking to a builder like we're both on the same level. People are so quick to judge, you know, they go, look at him, he's having a look at his life, he must be some sort of nutter. Me, I'm like, fuck off, fuck right off. Yeah, fuck off, fuck off, you idiots. Shit, we're so angry together. The righteous indignation of the common man. Maybe we can start a union, the woodworkers and general persons union. Listen, huh? bro, do you fancy a bit of a jam? I've got a bonga, we could have a cheeky toke. Yeah, why not? Sweet ass. Maybe we'll become best mates and you'll train me up to be a carpenter no. like Jesus. And if I get crucified... <laughs> oh, you're too like, like Jesus. Jesus. It, he'll start a religion in my name. Jeremism. I'm a Jeremism. Nice. I can sleep on the plane. I can sleep on the plane. I can sleep... So we'll get a chance to stall my brains off on the plane. Right. Great. I can go to the little loo, put my jacket on the seat like a cushion and guy. make out I got locked in. Hello. Oh, for God's sake. All right. Flight's delayed. Industrial action in Frankfurt. Next one's seven in the morning. So we better... Don't say brainstorm. Don't say brainstorm. Get some rest. You want to be fresh for the big meat, don't you, Corrigan? You take this one. God bless those over-unionized European economies. Magic eye. Brilliant for a shroom party. Just as long as it's something nice when you get it. Oh my god! Yeah. What? I used to love those when I was a kid. Do you know this Magic Eye uh, little books? Yeah. Where you'd, you'd have to look at it a certain And then you look and away and thing, you like... thing would pop out. Oh. Yeah. You never had those? I remember seeing ones where or did like... they, in, <laughs> for your age group, did they get rid of them because it caused trauma? <laughs> it actually indulges drug use, so that's why they got rid of them. Oh, yeah? For yeah. five-year-olds? Yeah. <laughs> It indulges drug use for five-year-olds. That is a perfect them. example of human planning. They These five-year-olds are fucking going crazy. We can't give them magic eyes. Yeah, the next they thing, they're going to turn six and they're going to be on the crack pipe. Because <laughs> they look at them and they go, I don't know what drugs are yet, but I'm into it. Oh. Oh, my God. How are you doing? Oh my god, when it comes to human plannings, human planning, oh. there's three ideas. There's, I just got so dizzy. Did you? Yeah, I stood up so fast. When it comes to human planning, there is three ideas. There is practical ideas, there's bad ideas, and there is blasphemous ideas. No, so I was going to say, we had like... This books. is a blasphemous idea. We had, listen, we had books like that, but you like stared at it, and then you stared at the wall, and you would like see the picture on there. Or you would see, like, it moving. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, you were a kid in the 90s, so you had crazy books. 
Best time to grow. You know, most of the books that I read that were mandatory to read in school, I found out are like banned in most places. Uh, most of the country. Like what now. one? Lord of the Flies, Catcher in the Rye. Oh, I need to finish to kill that a mo- one. To Kill a Mockingbird. I these read, are, these I read all... To Kill a Mockingbird. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, but it's banned now. Oh. In most, not, not all states, but like most states. And did you read Tuesdays with Maury? And, not, and I just don't say banned like you got to get rid of the book. It's like banned for kids to read. Yeah, like it's not in schools. Like it's not yeah. a mandatory book for them to read. Right. These were all mandatory books when I was a kid. I mean, To Kill a Mockingbird was kind of weird. It's a fucking It was very good. Fantastic book. Um But anyway, we're rambling too okay. much. They're not going to do the magic eye of executions, are they? It'll be dolphins or Father Christmas. Mark, what are you doing here? Playing cancel. It's one seven in the morning. But had a nap in the tank. I pointed at you because he mentioned dolphins. He was like, maybe some dolphins. Yeah, he mentioned both things. We love <laughs> dolphins and Santa. Yeah. Oh. See, but I <laughs> just give him a little barking when he's chewing. What the hell have you done to this place, Jeremy? Well, I just thought, you know, why have a boring living room? Why not have more vibe? Well, for one thing, it's a fire hazard. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard about the vibe in here before. What's going on? It's okay. thought in his mind it's a fire hazard. Now, but only on the condition, the candles. promise, that you don't freak out. Because this really isn't a big deal. In no way the kind of big deal that you're going to pretend it is. So, Jeremy. It's just... <clears throat> big Sue's and everyone, they're coming over. And you might want to make yourself scarce because we're going to be taking some magic mushrooms. Magic mushrooms? Yes. And we're going to smash down the doors of perception so we can see all the stuff that... Isn't really there. That is really there, but we don't normally see because we're so transfixed on... The stuff that is really there. Oh, it's so simple for you, isn't it? But the truth that you're so scared of hearing is that, in fact, reality and fantasy are exactly the same thing. Look, Jez, I just don't feel comfortable about you having a drugs party in my flat. But this is my big chance with Big Sue's. I'm going to get us both really high and then try to put my hand up her jumper. That's your plan? Yes. And I think it would be a lot better if you just stayed in your room. Why? Because I'm an embarrassment? No, it's just... You'll be bored. We'll be off our heads talking about all the amazing things you can do with hemp, not the interest rates and grisly murders that you're into. Mark's gonna go crazy. Yeah, he is. Smart, he's gonna, it's Jeremy's Jeremy's actually not trying to trick him. Jeremy's thinking like Mark is such a prude. Well he's also that, sick, just And down. he's sick yeah. that he's he's gonna lose his mind and flip the fuck out. Yeah. So please stay in your room so you don't get a load get a, of this. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. Last night, the foreign Look, secretary please, Mark. The EU's entire future. Please promise to stay in your room all night. No. European leaders have urged Jack's my flat, and I feel ill. I just want to lounge around in my pants and watch Judge John Deed. Can't you and your friends cope with the sight of me lounging around in my pants? Uh, listen, the door's almost finished, but I've just had a call from my ex. She's dumping the kids on me, some bullshit about needing to get her headspace together or something. So I'm going to shoot off if that's all right. Yeah, well, that's... Great, thanks, mate. He's trying to diddle us. He's taking the piss. There are girls coming <laughs> over. let him go the first time. Get out of the loo in public. Well, then, you better tell him yourself. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Look, uh... Sorry, mate, it's actually not cool. What's that? The door. Uh, it might be best if you finish it tonight. No, pal, I've got to get over to you. It's other... just Mark, my mate. He's a bit of a carrot up the old ass about this kind of thing. And he says... I don't mind. It's fine by me. Well, anyway, look, I really need it done by tonight, OK? I'm off, pal. Look, you've got to just do it now, OK? <laughs> it's your job. I'm ordering you to do it. I'm the boss. You're the worker. Oh, yeah. That's the way it is, is it? Yeah? Well, you can fuck off, pal. You can fuck right off! Please don't hit me. Good, he hasn't hit me. Maybe I should hit him. Oh, no, he's gone. <laughs> well, oh, well, this is good. This mean. is going to be a disaster episode. Yeah, it is. Uh, oh, my it's already Lord. Start, starting with a part one and part two. 
All right, I'm going for a well, power it does nap. That with I'll be back out later yeah. to look at these training videos, so I'll need the living room. But if you must trip, you can trip in here, in your room, and a bit in the hall. This is a nightmare. We can't all sit in my bloody room. What if one of us goes out and sees him? Immediate bad vibe. Hold on. It's all right, Mark. I'll uh, take your lens it through for you. Oh, cheers, mate. <clears throat> Am I going to do this? Am I going to do what this? What's he going to do? I've got an evil plan. He's I'm like a Bond villain or a young Richard Branson. Oh my God! I'm poisoning my flatmate. He's going to pass okay? the hell out. Doesn't sound great. Why did you poison With your flatmate? Uh, so uh, maybe it's, it's probably hot tea water. or hot water. Yeah. I'm only poisoning him a tiny, tiny bit. It's really a white poisoning, a friendly poisoning. It's just so much more civilized than bonking him on I thought it for a second that was co coffee, and he was going to pour coffee in with... So you have something that jacks you up and makes you no, sleepy No, he just fuck. said water. He's just going to make you pass out. Kill. Your body wouldn't know what to do. Head with a hammer. Hi, mate. Oh, thanks. Shit. Could this actually kill him? It's not going to kill him. It's just loads and loads of medicine. He'll probably wake up in three days completely cured. But he has to be somewhere down. tomorrow. Okay, thanks. I will. That's right. Drink it all down. Okay. Have a nice day. Oh my gosh, one little shot of that stuff thanks. makes me knock out. It'll be okay. It's not like I'm going to rape him. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He's like, this is fine. Uh, where are you going? You're like, <laughs> you're like goodbye. <laughs> oh man! Up, oh, she came to say hi. Hi, hi Jane. Are you getting okay with the noise? Uh huh? Yeah. She don't like. She the doesn't noise like the noises out all. there. They probably don't either. But the show must go on. The reaction must go the on. The show must go on. Calm down. A little schmack. A little schmack. I could rape him. I'm not going to rape him. <laughs> Why do you have to say it twice to himself <laughs> like you're thinking about no. it? Like you did, yeah. Have you ever gone shrooming before? No, never. Oh, My friend pretty. Otto had a very bad trip the first time he did it. He ended up putting his forehead on a train track, thinking it was a big steel sweatband. Don't worry, honestly. Tripping changed my life. Before I did shrooms, I was stuck at HSBC's doing the nine to five. Yeah, and now you've got your room at the centre and you're making your masks. Jess, I need to use the lift. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. What I was thinking was, I'll just wedge the door in and hold it while you... Yeah, I won't be listening or anything. I mean, I'll hear, but I won't listen. Okay, honey, you go ahead and do your lovely business and I'll uh, jam this sucker in place. I bet she even does nice poos. Little Maltesers that smell like the body shop. Just go and check on the victim. Not victim, patient. Patient's nicer. He's fine. Mustn't think I've killed him. Definite bad trip. I don't think he's breathing. I almost <laughs> no, he doesn't. Killed him. Might be best if I just... Oh no, he's gonna lock him in there. Too much. Out of sight, out of mind. Mark's gonna flip the fuck out. Yeah, Mark, he is. That's Mark is gonna dangerous. go crazy. He's gonna go crazy. Especially because you just like over medicated him. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, I feel terrible. I feel like someone's trying to deliver the whole of the Sunday Times into my head. Sophie can't even be bothered to send me templates anymore. Just go to the loo and then. What? He's. Has he locked me in? This is incredible. This is literally unbelievable. I'm locked out of a party that's happening in my own home. It's Sarah's 18th all over again. A mushroom party in my flat is not in the bloody tenant's agreement. Of course, I never made him sign a tenant's agreement. Bollocks. This is the last friendship I have that's not backed up by a legally enforceable document. Jeremy! Kick the door in. They don't look Jeremy! What's that? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, nope, nope, you don't hear anything. It's fine. You're banging. You can't hear banging. Don't worry, Suze. There's no banging. But I'm definitely getting banging. Oh my god, Jess, I'm 
hearing things. I don't think I'm having a good time. I mean, I can't be sure, but I really don't think I am. It does sound kind of a lot like banging. It's this banging track. That's what's banging. I think I might get up. Oh, oh no. Suze, have another dose. That'll sort you out, maybe. No, Suze, don't, don't do that. Just, um, <laughs> listen, love. Just a little tip, all right? You're on the edge now, and you need to pick the right way. Because one way's heaven, and the other... Well, probably best not to think about that right now, but it's fucking horrible, yeah? <laughs> Open up! This is not <laughs> open up someone ever did. No, it's not. No, it's not. Sorry, but can you please keep down the banging? You bloody... I can't believe you... Look, please be quiet, okay? Let me out! Let me out! I need a poo! Do your business in there if you have to. <laughs> What? so mad! Oh, Jeremy, he's such a dick. What did he give him? He gave him like a fucking, look at this, a, a yeah, a brown baggie. If I do this, even if I end up marrying Sophie, we live in a detached house and he has in Surrey, a stomach bug. a holiday home in Umbria, our children will always look up at the face of a man who once crapped in a takeaway bag. And he has a stomach Plus, bug. I'd have to hide it here, somewhere in my room, next to one of my things. I could throw it out the window. No, that's what they want you to do. That's where society's headed. People <laughs> shitting in bags and throwing them out the window at each other. Well, I'm not going to be the first. Not in my name. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Jeremy, do you know what? I think I might be having a good time. Oh, yeah. These are the good times, love. After the initial nausea passes, but before the grinding come down. Lovely. <laughs> Hey Jess, do you remember when we used to have our baths together and you did your Rick from the Young Ones impersonation with the rubber mouse? Yeah, that was a good impression. Maybe I should run as a bath right now. Why not? Ha! Diggity dog! The pizza man is here. Pizza in the bath. Soapy margarita. Sounds pizza man. Shut up, Mark. Honestly. Pizza <laughs> the action. So mean. Uh oh! Johnson, what do you want? I want to see Mark. He uh oh! Called. He says it's been. <laughs> this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great, right Shut here. Up, Mark. Honestly. Give me a pizza. The action. Johnson, what do you want? I want to see Mark. He called. He says he's been falsely imprisoned. <laughs> falsely imprisoned. What a drama queen. He's not here. That's bullshit. What have you done to him? Nothing. Why would I? Johnson. Mark? Johnson! Mark! Oh, for God's sake, I'm gonna be like that about it. Oh, thank you, Alan, thank you! That's for you, Jeremy, you bloody shit! Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm oh. so sorry, Alan. Where's the door? Are you all right, Mark? Uh, yep, fine. G great, just the, the door oh, fell I hate out that. and we haven't, so... <laughs> I need to. I don't like bathroom humor. Uh, pooing, you're doing? Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. Doesn't sound normal, Mark. Doesn't smell normal. It is, honestly. This is bollocks, Mark. <laughs> you know the credo illness equals weakness. You're off the team. Please, Alan. <laughs> no, but. Oh, you don't, you don't no, like it no, either. No. Just stay in that room. Stay in the nice room. It's so disgusting. <laughs> I'm going to be sick. No, don't. Oh my god. I'm sorry to smell it from here. I know. <laughs> I don't know why. Don't be sick. You can't be sick. Let's dance. Don't be sick. <sighs> Go and look at the magic eye. Oi, oi, what's all this? Jesus. Is this what you two are into? Is this your thing? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just so sorry. I'll see you later, Mark. Much later. Let's get you out of here. No, you can't just. <laughs> Hang on, love. Why up? I'd leave too. <laughs> super hard leaves too. You had to do it, didn't you? You just couldn't let me be happy. You had to go crying to Daddy just as soon as I locked you in your room for one single minute. You just can't take a joke, can you? Jeremy, for God's sake. So this is my big evening, is it? Me tripping my nuts off watching you do endless pooing. <laughs> if I were you, I'd think about what you've done. Just have a long, hard think about what you've done. 
He is the worst roommate. Oh, uh, he really is. Sneeze. You're gonna sneeze? Yeah. Go that way. <laughs> Go that Aim way. Aim that way. Yeah. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Jay, no. <laughs> no, we're done. Yeah, we're done with that one. I'll buy you a new two toys soon. Yeah. Well, yeah, Jeremy is the worst roommate ever. And uh, that last end, the ending of that was disgusting. I'm glad they didn't show any actual drug use, they just, like, referred to it. So. Yeah, me too. Because, <clears throat> you know, I hate having to edit that stuff out. But, uh,. Yeah, who knows what's going on with Sophie, because we only saw one smiley face text. Yeah. And she's apparently Very in Bristol. Cryptic. Um, What's the black guy's name again? I can't remember. <laughs> the manager. Jerry? Michael. Is it Michael? No. No? I don't know. I can never remember. No, no Jeremy's the roommate. <laughs> I'm talking about the... George? Uh, George? <laughs> Somebody knows what his name is. But anyway, he's my favorite. He's my favorite, and it's good to see him again, even if it was for a short time. He pops up like every like three or four episodes, but Did that's, you get your donut? that guy's so entertaining. Anyway, we gotta go because obviously we got a crazy dog we gotta deal with who's very scared of these noises from the people cleaning the floors. So um, it was a good episode. And uh, how did you before we go, how did you like um, I liked it. It made me show? miss Peep Show. I feel yeah. like it's getting a lot crazier, and I want to watch it more with you. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, anyway, remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want, and be on the lookout <coughs> for more videos. Yeah. And yes, she's saying goodbye. Bye. She says goodbye. Goodbye, everybody.